Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to do a uh, sample playthrough of uh, the uh, board game Scoreboard Baseball uh, published by Inside Sports Games. Uh, this is their uh, quicker play baseball game. They have a full play baseball game called Inside Pitch, which is highly recommended. Um, so this game is um, kind of like a highlight, kind of like a highlight based game. Um, basically you get uh, one um, uh, one sheet uh, per team with all the players listed on the team and um, and I'm going to show you how the game mechanics work. Basically you're going to roll one set of dice for each half inning uh, that this roll is going to identify a key player and whether or not the, uh, the team scores, uh, what type of hit that key player gets and the uh, pitching stats for each inning. Um, so these are the, the uh, six dice you're going to be rolling. Um, <clears throat> it's a bit bright in here this morning. Um, so you're going to be rolling uh, two, uh, two red dice, a, a, 20, a d20 and a d10, to give you a number between 10 and 209. So this number, for instance, would be <clears throat> excuse me, 138. Uh, that's going to identify the key player. Um, the white die, d20, is going to... Uh, tell you whether the team scores or not in that half inning. Uh, the, the two, D, the two um, blue dice, um, I'm a bit colorblind so uh, I'm not sure if these are actually blue or not um, so I'm just going with it. That's the closest I could get to something that's blue. Um, so you have a D20 and a D10 to get the type hit type. Um, this number uh, will be uh, 32. And then the green die uh, will um, gives the um, uh, how many strikeouts uh, the pitcher pitches in that inning and uh, if the team uh, does uh, score runs then that will also uh, um, give you the number of uh, runs scored and the uh, number of RBIs. Uh, the white die is also used to get the uh, number of uh, strike um, number of hits and the number of walks given up by the pitcher. Okay so um, so we'll just uh, get going here um, and I'll just uh, pull the uh, the um, the player, uh, the team sheet interview um, as uh, we play here. Um, actually, sorry, before we get going on that, I'm just going to show you, uh, this is what the sam uh, sample score sheet is. Um, so it's a little different. Um, basically, where is my pen here? Um, this is, uh, you're going to be keeping track of the, um, the key players for each inning and whether they get a hit or not. So uh, if they don't, if they end up not getting a hit, you don't have to write them in on the score sheet here. So in this example, it's Kansas City and Boston, and further down here you have the um, the pitching line. Sorry about that. Um, so that um, you can see the innings down the left hand side, and uh, the pitching um, stats for each inning: runs, earned runs, hits, walks, and uh, strikeouts. And that star column is uh, is um, used to determine the, the pull. Uh, keep track of the pull. Uh, uh, number for the pitcher because um, for example here um, Rick uh, Rick Russell for the Cubs his pull rating is 18 so that that number is uh, includes uh, the number of innings pitched plus any hits walks and runs given up in the inning, in, uh, in the game okay so um, so they have this uh, number range here if you don't want to pick uh, which pitcher you're going to pitch, you can just roll um, a d20 and a d10, give you a number between 10 and 209, that'll give you your starting pitcher, uh, but, or you can just uh, select somebody. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get going here. So, um, this over here. so uh, the number, the red number, red die is 186. So, we look in this who column and we go down to 186 and the key player for this inning is Steve Mako and we look at the white die the white die is 12 so what we compare the white die with the score rating of the player and Mako's rating is a 3 so the 12 is above the 3 so Chicago is not going to score any runs this inning so next we look at the uh, the two blue dice so we have a 16 and a 3, which gives a number of 163. So 
so that we look in um, so we look on Mako's line and 163 is above the uh, the hit range of single double or triple or home run so uh, no hits are given up by uh, Rogers in that inning uh, the white die uh, is 12 so you look at Steve Rogers, Rogers on the first line, and we, for the white die we look at the, the hit and two hit range, so it's uh, basically one or two to five, and 12 is above that, so he doesn't give up any hits besides the key player hit, the key player's hit, and uh, the white is also used for the walk, so the walk range is uh, is not with it, not uh, higher than that, or the dice range is not, the dice roll is not within the, this walk range, so no walks, and uh, the green die is a nine, I'm going to check that against Rogers' um, K ratings, and he actually strikes out two. So, and so in the star column, we put a one because he didn't, didn't give up any runs or hits. So one for the amount of innings pitched. So I just want to show you that. See, no runs, uh, no hits, two strikeouts, and a walk. No, put a one there. Okay, so uh, Montreal's coming up to bat. We get our six dice, which is literally a handful. Um, okay, so the red die, apologize about the sun. Um, red die is 71. So the key player for Expos is uh, Rodney Scott. Uh, the D20 is a 20, so they're not going to score. Uh, although, uh, we do have to look at um, the... Uh, the score rating of the pitcher because sometimes this can happen. Um, if if there's a number appears in the score rating, then the, it's possible that the uh, the t the opponent will score or not score. So, for instance, if Ken Holtzman was pitching for the Cubs, uh, the roll of twenty would indicate that um, Montreal would in fact score a run or runs in this inning. Uh, if you have a number in brackets like this, if you roll that, then the t then the opposing team would not score. Normally, a, a a low number would be within most batters' uh, score ratings. But uh, uh, Russell doesn't have anything in his score column, so uh, no score for the extras. Okay, um, the um, the blue number is uh, 78. So we look in. Uh, so we look at Scott's um, Scott's line, and we go over 78 is a double. So we write down Scott on the score sheet. He gets a hit, mark a hit in the hit column, a hit in the double column. Okay, and um, so now we can see if, uh, how many hits uh, that Russell gave up for the inning. Uh, the 20 is outside uh, Russell's uh, hit uh, ranges of one or two to six. So he only gives up the one hit to Scott in the inning. So one hit, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the 20 is outside his walk rating, so no walks. And the strikeout, the green die is a 9, and that's just outside uh, Russell's uh, strikeout rating, so no strikeout. So just the one hit, and because he pitched one inning, his star number is a 2. Okay, go to the second inning. Okay, oh, we might get a score here, so because the white die is a 3. So uh, the red die is uh, 160. So uh, Bobby Mercer is the uh, key player for Chicago, and his score rating is a six, so the three is within the six. So um, Chicago is going to score some runs uh, this inning. So what what you'd look do uh, uh, next? Um, sorry, I wanted to show you something else. Um, the game does come with this flow chart, which is very handy when you are uh, <clears throat> learning the game. So it uh, tells you all the dice to roll, and if uh, the roll is in a certain range, like if it's within the team scoring range, you uh, follow the uh, the right hand side column here, and then uh, if they don't score, you follow the uh, the flow chart on the left hand side. So this is very handy in case uh, you forget the, the procedures. Okay, so what we have here is um, a green die of twelve. Uh, oh, we, sorry, we have to look at the hit type first. So uh, the, the, blue, the blue number is 125. So on Mercer's um, 
Mercer's line. Uh, Mercer, uh, here's Mercer. I'm going to go over to 125, and that is in the home run question mark column. Uh, it's a question mark that just means, uh, I forget what it means actually. So uh, Mercer has hit a home run. And uh, so now we use the, the green die, which is 12. So back to Chicago's. And we go over to the right hand side of their thing. So we look, look under this run scored thing. And um, we look, and since the home run is the, it was the hit type, we look at the, uh, the, the, use the green die here of 12. Now 12 uh, is within this uh, two run, uh, indica would indicate two runs, but we do have to look at uh, the rod, the pitching, pitching um, pitcher's uh, run adjustment column. So uh, Steve Rogers, his run adjustment thing is plus one. So that just means you're, we're adding one to the die roll. So um, so we add one to the die roll, the home run type. Uh, the green die is 12, and so that becomes a 13. So it still makes the run, um, the number of runs scored as two. But say that the original dice roll is a 13, and the plus one would make it 14. That would, uh, inc that would change the... Um, the runs to three runs, given up instead of two. So, um, so you can sort of think of that as you know when Rogers does give up a run, give up some runs, and he has a tendency to give up maybe more runs than than maybe the average pitcher. Um, so okay, so um, so it's nine to thirteen. Is the uh, is the, um, is the thing? So um, Chicago scores two runs. And this color corresponds to the two RBI color at the bottom. So Mercer gets credited with two RBIs. So Rogers gives up two runs. So the white number is a three, and that falls within uh, Rogers' uh, hit rating. And when a team scores, uh, if they um, if the the white die is within their hit range, so they give up uh, um, the number of hits equal to the runs plus one for the inning. So he's given up two runs, so he's actually given up three hits for the inning, with Mercer getting the, the key hit in the inning. Uh, the three is also within Rogers' uh, one walk range, so he gives up a walk. And the green is a 12, and that's outside of Rogers' striker ratings. So uh, two runs plus three hits plus a walk, that's six. And then another inning, that's seven. So Rogers' star number is up to eight after two innings, after giving up a... Uh, two run homer to uh, Bobby Mercer. Okay, let's go to the Expos half of the second. Excuse me. Okay, so the number is uh, 176. That's uh, Tommy Hutton, part of the bus squad for the Expos. Um, and uh, the key, the white die is a two. So, um, Expos are going to score some runs in this inning, and uh, that's within um, that's within Hutton's score score range of four. So we look at uh, the blue number is 147. So we look on Hutton's line, and 147 is beyond um, the the home run question mark column. So that means uh, if a team scores and that happens, um, uh, Hutton gets a single in that case. So uh, we look at the uh, green die, which is a 15. Look at 15, and we're looking at the Expos, uh, Expos uh, sheet now. Uh, so the the key hit was a single. Um, the green die is uh, 15. Uh, Russell's run adjustment um, number is minus 2. So it's actually the, the die becomes 13. So actually, um, the Expos are actually limited to one run instead of two runs. So one run given up by Russell. And, uh, okay, the white die is a 2, so 2 falls within um, Russell's uh, hit range, and uh, so that means he's given up uh, 2 runs, so it's the, uh, the number of hits equal to the number of runs plus 1. So he gives up 2 hits for the inning. Uh, the 2 is also within his walk rating, so, <clears throat> so you've given up a walk, <clears throat> and the green die is 15, so no strikeouts. So that's one run on two hits, so that's three, plus uh, the walk is four, so it's uh, 
and then the inning is five, so Russell's um, pull rating, pull number is up to seven, up to two. I'll just play one more inning, and then um, I'm going to show you something about a process, what you do at the end of the game. Okay, so um, now we have a uh, key player in Chicago is 22, that's Ivan DeJesus. And uh, the white die is 10, but DeJesus' score rating is 5, so no scoring for the Cubs. Uh, the blue number is 169, uh, no hits uh, but from the key player. So we go to the pitching line, Rogers uh, 10 is outside his hit thing, so he doesn't give up any hits. So no runs, no hits. Um, and uh, no walks either. And uh, the green die is a 20, so no strikeouts. So we just add one to Rogers' thing, so he's, his number is up to nine. So uh, the score is uh, two to one for the Cubs. Okay, we roll for the Expos in the bottom of the third. 56 is the key player. That's uh, Rodney Scott again. So as you noticed, uh, you, it's possible to have the same key player in consecutive innings. Uh, the rules say that um, you know if you don't like that, you can just roll again to get a different key player. But um, they said it, it's okay to have uh, the same key player in, in consecutive innings. Yeah, it's, it's your preference. Uh, the white is, dies in 18, so no runs for the Expos. Uh, the blue is 151. That's outside Scott's hit range, so no hits given up by Russell. And uh, 18 is outside his hit uh, range and his walk range. And the green die is 9, and that's outside his K range. So nothing, nothing uh, special for the Expos that, in that inning. So after three innings, it's 2 to 1. So uh, I'll just stop there. So um, so that's how the game plays. It's very, very quick. Uh, once once you get into the flow of things, you can get you can get the results of an in, a half inning in uh, in less than a minute. And so the game pl plays very quickly. So um, I'm just going to go back to a previous game and just show you what happens at the end of the game. So uh, as you noticed, um, for, in terms of the batting batting team, um, you only keep track of the uh, key players' hits. So at the end of the game, uh, you're going to have a, a difference between uh, the number of hits that the pitcher from the pitcher's line versus how, what the hitters are. So what you have to do is um, uh, reconcile the RBIs and the hits. Okay, so I had a game here I played earlier where Chicago beat Montreal 4-1. to one. And you add up the uh, RBIs, and it's uh, 4. And uh, But the, uh, the Cubs scored 4 runs. So um, since this is the same, you don't have to uh, roll to find out who gets the other RBIs. Um, if, say, uh, the Cubs only had three RBIs from key players and they scored four runs, or five, or let's say they scored five runs, that's a difference of two. So you would have to roll uh, twice on the uh, hit plus RBI column on the team sheet, which is uh, this column right here. And you get a, a, a number from uh, 10 to uh, 209. And, um, and so you would roll. So say you rolled uh, like a 21, on that, uh, you would give a uh, hit an RBI to uh, Bill Buckner, and so uh, so you would uh, you would write that on the score sheet as Buckner getting a hit and an RBI. And uh, if you roll outside of the hit R plus RBI range, and then there is no RBI, so there could have been an unearned run there. Okay, so once see so once you do that. So say the Cubs had uh, scored five runs in the game and there were only three RBIs from the course of gameplay. Uh, you roll twice on the hit plus RBI column and only one RBI gets added there. You're still short by, um, no, sorry, no, forget that, it's, it's the hits. So, um, so and then in the Montreal's case, they didn't score any runs. Uh, so there was no, no runs, no RBIs to, uh, to reconcile there. So then you look at the, the Cubs' um, hits. So... Um, you look at the uh, the number of hits from the pitchers thing, and the Cubs had ten hits, but from the key players, um, they only had five. Yeah, five. So we actually have to roll on the hit column uh, five more times to see who gets credited with a hit. So what you would do is, um, yeah, again, you roll uh, a d20 and a d10. So let's just go through that. So 173, 
173 and the hit column is uh, sorry 173 and the hit column is Bobby Mercer so he would get a hit to uh, tally another a hit for Bobby Mercer uh, 79 is uh, Steve Ontiveros and so on and uh, then you would get uh, and then you would get the same number of hits as as what the pitcher gave up and that's it that's how you play this game so it's a uh, it's a it's a nice a fairly easy game to um, um, to learn um, yeah it also has uh, one other thing I forgot to mention is for the uh, the pitching thing uh, if you have to bring in a relief pitcher it has uh, the different situations uh, so you just roll 2d10 on uh, whatever column so this is in a save situation extra innings uh, if the team is ahead or tied in the eighth or ninth uh, behind in the eighth or ninth uh, ahead or tied in the sixth or seventh behind sixth or seventh and if it's the fifth inning or earlier and you would just roll 2d10 and find out who your relief pitcher is going to be um, i think that's all that i need to show you but uh, yeah um, thanks for watching and i'll uh, see you later